Hey folks, Joseph A. Savora here, and I decided to do a review this week about one of my favorite shows that I've seen on Toonami, which was on Cartoon Network at the time, back in July 3rd of 2000. It's called Tenchi Muyo. It's one of the Japanese animated series that came out in 1992, which started the whole trend of, of harem anime which basically has the protagonist who actually helps with all the rest of the others that are all female but it's basically the kind of series that got the idea of, of one young boy a teenager by the name of Tenshi Masaki from living in with, with his grandfather and his father in the grandfather's shrine basically started training and everything came back from vacation uh, ends up in high school with his friends so one day a space demon arrived on earth and it turned out to be a demon that was a space power that has been imprisoned for a thousand years and just came back to life which eventually turned out to be evil at first but eventually became very beautiful and sexy of course and it's not other than Ryoko. And then as episodes follow along, there were other alien girls as well, which includes Princess Ayeka with her guardians, along with her sister Sasami. Then we have um, a character named Ryooki, who happens to be a mix between a cat and a rabbit, known as a cabot. Very cute. Then of course we have a galaxy police officer by the name of Mahoshi, who happens to be a ditz, a ditzy galaxy police officer. She later had a partner, of course, named Kayone, which would follow in the Mahoshi special, and later Tenshi Universe, as well as Tenshi in Tokyo. There's even Washu, a character that's considered as a mad scientist, but a very good character nevertheless, yep. And there were other characters in this show as well, including the villain Kakuto. It's a very good series. You know, I, I really enjoyed this this show a lot. Uh, we even had the TV series uh, Tenchi Universe as well as Tenchi in Tokyo, uh, which I had to say Tenchi Universe happens to be one of my favorites of all the Tenchi Muyo series, as it turned out. Um, that along with the first series, with the OVAs 1 and 2, as mentioned. And then, of course, there's Tenchi in Tokyo, which I, I know a lot of people had dismissed this series, but I enjoyed it nevertheless. It's not as good as those other ones, but I could take it for granted. I mean, yeah, I know the animation has changed. I know they had a weak villain named Yuri, and there were some problems with the series alone. Plenty of flaws. But I did, however, like the character Sakuya, and I thought she was very cute, in my opinion. Uh, I know some people dismiss her too, but that's okay. We all have opinions. But other than that though, yeah, it was a great series. I mean, it's a very good one. I really enjoyed it a lot. I was so hooked on it when I first saw it because since then, I started taping the entire series on VHS. And yes, they were indeed the edited versions, the edited watered down versions of the series. Because that's where I, I first saw them. I never actually saw the uncut versions until later on when I started going online um, when they started having episodes that were taken directly from their DVDs, Laserdiscs, and VHS tapes which that's what they all started from from scratch, all in Japan so they were definitely uncut and they had a lot of gratuitous nudity language, everything yeah, there were, a, there were some gory scenes in the OVA series, but I guess it turned out that it was... That's pretty much how it was back then. But anyway, it was, it was an awesome series. You know, I, I think it was right up there with all the other shows I've seen in the past. But it's definitely worth recommending for everybody. I love the movies, too, that they had. Uh, starting with Tenchi Muyo and Love. And then there's, of course, uh, Daughter of Darkness, which has Mayuka. Um, yeah, the, the girl. And there's Tenshi Muyo 2, which is known as Tenshi Forever. And there was a lot of that. 
And then there was a lot of spin-offs too with, with Tenshi Muyo GXP. It was a different series from when they left off. There was also Tenshi Muyo Ryooki OVA3. Um, which had some had some problems, but it was okay. And we had so many spin-offs like um, Magical Girl Pretty Sammy, which eventually became Magical Project S. Um, we had the Mahoshi Special, which was part of the Tenshi Muyo OVAs 1 and 2. Which is, yeah, it's a special. And then we also had other ones that just came out, like Sasami Magical Club and Tenshi Muyo War on Geminar. So there was a lot of that. It's it's a you know it's a very popular series back then, but yet it was still kind of underrated as it turned out. Because the sad part is not many people talk about it that much. I I, I mean a lot of people have, but there's some people that that didn't remember much. So that's a shame. But I think people should definitely check this series out because it's hilarious. It's fun. You know you just definitely just can't get your eyes out of it. You know. My favorite character of the series, of course, is none other than Ryoko. Great character, too. I, yeah, very sexy character, as you can see. And and I love all the characters on the show as well. I, I even enjoy the voice acting that's in English. I know there have been some changes, you know, since Funimation had got the rights. Um, but that was only in the the OVAs, Free, and, and uh, GXP. But that's been, you know... They actually managed to bring them back, um, so in order for them to dub it uh, on the OVAs free, so it could be part of it. But the sad part is they couldn't get uh, uh, portray Birchart uh, as Ryoko, so they get Mona Marshall. That's a shame. But other than that, though, I I really enjoy the series a lot. You know, you definitely need to watch this for yourself. If you ever if you ever find them on DVD. Blu-ray or whatever, definitely pick this up. So anyway, here's my video of my collection. I will be able to pick out some more later on in the future, but for now, here it is.